Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 25th, 2018. So this October swoon continues. I got to tell you, I was favoring... I told you yesterday that I was kind of favoring because of the oversold condition, we would see some kind of a bounce. Isn't that just the way it is? The market has a way of humbling us um, when we say things like that. And we ended up getting very humbled yesterday. As news reports continued to swirl and, and come out of explosive devices being sent out in the mail, the market just continued to push lower and push lower and push lower. And here's the sad thing about this is because we finally reached that point of capitulation, I think, where the pain was so great, everybody started jumping out and they finally started taking their losses. And then almost instantly after the market closed, the market began to bounce. So not only do you, uh, you know, a lot of folks probably suffer through um, finally breaking down and selling and taking big losses, but they had to suffer the indignity of watching the market immediately bounce after they uh, jumped out of a trade. So it's one of those things that happens. It's certainly unfortunate. Now, I'm not in any way, shape or form suggesting this is the last that we can't go lower because I do think we can go lower here in the market. But I will point out that the Dow has now reached a pretty significant level in here for uh, at least a temporary support so this bounce up this morning not a real big surprise um, looking at that you know uh, into the close yesterday i just had the sense or the feeling that we would probably catch a bounce here soon and that's what's going on this morning currently the futures are substantially higher but I don't want anyone to think that that means that all we're, I'm sounding the all clear. Remember, market bottoms are a process. Uh, stock bottoms are a process. They don't happen in just one move as a as that's not typical. You know, we will set a low, we will rally, we will bounce around in here. There will be all kinds of of bottoming in here that will occur and it could actually take months to actually sort itself out so just because we're catching this bounce today doesn't mean that I, I i would fully expect after some kind of a rally some kind of a bounce we will find a way to retest the low so keep that in mind if you're thinking about jumping in uh, with both feet today that we're going to have to stay very flexible and very nimble um, as we trade this correction and trade ourselves back out of it. Now, what I do think will probably begin to occur here is that we're going to start seeing um, the big institutions, uh, those value investors like Warren Buffett, who's been waiting for this kind of thing, to actually begin to do a little buying to support, begin to support some prices. That doesn't mean it's going to be a place for retail traders to just hop back in. We will still have to expect very high volatility lots of fear in the market if we take a look at the vix can't type this morning if we take a look at the vix um we can see tremendous fear um here in the market but that fear has not reached a point of panic so for example look at this right in here when we really reached that point of panic here in uh, February. We haven't spiked nearly that high yet. So that point of panic could certainly come into play. Now, what will create that? Well, any more news events or any, uh, let's, let's say that we have some really bad earnings today. Um, some of the big techs really disappoint the market. That could certainly spike this and really transition what we're looking here, uh, looking at here in the VIX into 
uh, well, from fear to just straight on panic. And that's how we get those kind of big spikes when that panic really comes into the market. So are we completely done here? I'm, I'm certainly not going to suggest that, but I do believe we've reached that capitulation point where a, a, a bounce, a little bit of settling um, around this low, um, I think are fairly likely. So kind of keep that in mind. Be really careful about how you trade this. We're going to see uh, very likely really fast price action, uh, lots of volatility, lots of back and forth. Um, it will be very challenging to trade um, without question, I think. Let's take a look at the SPY, 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 we really capitulated here and we broke down through these big levels of support in here, stripping out all of the stop losses in here and um, really cutting through uh, some nastiness. So now this bounce back up, you can see is bouncing us right back up into this range I've kind of displayed here, this range right in here. And we need to get up in here and at least hold this level because if we fail if we rally from here and fail here's the problem if we rally from here hit some of these resistance levels throughout here and fail notice we have a substantial sell-off yet that could occur and that would just be keeping straight with the trend that's currently there. So we need to see some holding in here. We need, we really need those institutions to try and step up and start supporting price in here. So watch this area in here. If we get some kind of a major failure pattern, we could easily see big losses yet to come in the SPY. So let's hope that's not the case. Let's take a look at the cues. Q's also major capitulation here, dropping through big support levels and into the next level of support all in one move. And we need to watch this area in here. Now, you can see we're trying to bounce significantly this morning. We're bouncing up into this area. But let's keep in mind, there's going to be lots of resistance as we start moving up. It's going to be tentative so again we're gonna to have to watch those levels up here if we happen to catch a failure point um, well just notice it, it would be hard to imagine um, the the Nasdaq following falling all the way down into the 150s but it's certainly possible so let's hope we catch um, you know some cooler heads prevail here we start to repair some of this technical damage and in the IWM you know, IWM is always suffers the most in a sell-off. It's those uh, tech company or not tech companies, those small cap companies that always seem to garner the the most selling and really led us into this move lower, and that's fairly typical. Um, and it will be the slower index to likely recover. So be careful here. It is important to note that we are on a really good support area in here on IWM. So a rally back in here that holds a higher low or anything in there might be a good place um, to pick up some, some risk, but watch that carefully. Once again, any failure at resistance could easily drift drop us into this void down here that we don't want to be in that's for sure and for certain so watch that closely let's uh we already took a look at the vix let's take a look at t2122 the t20 oops t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and you can see <laughs> we are down here um scraping the bottom on T2122. So the bounce today will likely bring us a little bit higher here. And this is where I would expect some of that recovery to begin. But then again, yesterday I was kind of expecting that recovery to start to begin yesterday. 
uh, before we had the news on uh, mail bombs going out. So we'll have to watch this close, but right now I, I do favor an upside move at this point just simply because I think that capitulation has occurred and now we can start to repair some of this technical damage. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be smooth, but hopefully we can start coming back around to some cooler heads. The great thing about a, a sell-off like this, and I know it's a, a guy saying, you know, what's what's great about a sell-off like this? Well, the great thing about a sell-off is we now have really good stocks at bargain prices. So if you can find a way to um, enter those positions with a good quality plan, you're going to be able to pick up some really good trades uh, to be able to hold because of the good prices that have just been created in the market. We just went on sale. We, we had a major, major sell. And um, just like when you... Uh, when folks go to Target, when folks go to Walmart or whatever, they're not looking for the highest price thing on the shelf. They're always looking for the things that are on sale. And uh, the market has been on sale. And so we'll start to see some of those better prices now. And uh, there'll be folks taking advantage of those. So um, let's take a look at uh, the economic calendar here real quick. We have a big economic calendar today. Lots of stuff on it. Kind of uh, keep in mind right here at the beginning of the day um, at 8.30 Eastern Time, we have durable goods orders, in, um, international trading goods, and jobless claims all coming out at 8.30 plus a couple other 8.30 reports this morning. So a big um, uh, beginning to the calendar today. We have pending home sales in the EIA petroleum status report, uh, excuse me, natural gas report uh, this morning as well. Keep in mind, we have a couple of Fed speakers today, and down here towards the end of the day, we have the Fed balance sheet. That, you know, these items that are marked green can sometimes move the market around, but I think the bigger uh, the bigger focus of the market today will be the earnings and how those earnings come out. So on the earnings front, we have uh, 339 companies reporting earnings today. And some of the big techs are in this list. Now, there's far too many to list, but some of the big techs are in this list and we're going to have to pay attention um, to uh, those reports uh, because they could really move the market around substantially if I think particularly if they report poorly or guide uh, the quarters ahead uh, to be um, to be difficult for them so hopefully their guidance is good hopefully their earnings are good and we can start um, uh, seeing some of that recovery begin um, anything is possible when we get around earnings so be really really careful so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits. And hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I really, really do appreciate it. And hey, just as an aside, there are some trades out there that are looking pretty good. One I want to point out that did... Have, kind of break down a little bit yesterday but I want you to notice that there are good trades out there to be looking for there are good stocks that are trending things that are moving up so don't give up on yourself don't give up on your trading um, we have to redouble our efforts in a market like this and we have to really focus in on those good quality trends so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care.